As far as Miriam could tell, all her husband wanted to do was walk. Not as one walks to the post office, but striding along, cane whipping at his side, long legs carrying him down roads, through woods, down the streets of distant towns she didn't know where all. It was the war, of course, yet to say the war was to say nothing. The war was a phrase for all that had happened to him, about which he was resolutely silent. She sensed this war constantly, an atmosphere he'd brought home with him, a pressure behind his face, spaces between his words, nightmares he refused to describe to her. Early most mornings he would leave with a sandwich in his pocket, not returning till supper time, exhausted but a little calmer, even for a day or two more like his old self. Her hopes would rise, but the change never lasted.